Okay. Going home. This morning I woke up thinking of my cousin Sergio, or Checo, as we used to call him when he was young. He passed away a few years ago, but we were six months apart, and so when we were young, we used to hang around together quite a bit. My cousin Checo was what many would consider somewhat of a troublemaker. He was always very respectful to teachers, but he had a short temper with his classmates. He was an excellent athlete and participated in many different sports. And if you ever needed somebody to help you, he was a person to count on. He was always very loyal to his friends. Like I said, when we were young, we used to spend a lot of time together, especially in the summer. So I have a lot of stories that I could share about him. But the one story that always comes to mind when I think of Checo is about a time that we were sent to run an errand. For those of us who live in a border town, it is very common that we go run errands into Mexico, especially when we were younger because there were many things that we could not buy here that we had to go buy in Mexico. Food staples such as tortillas and masa and things like that. So one day, when we were about nine years old, my grandmother sent us to Matamoros, Mexico, to go buy some tortillas. Now remember that times were very different back then and we did not have the same safety concerns that we have today. So we went to Matamoros, Mexico, and we bought tortillas, and we were always given enough money to come across because there's a toll to pay at the bridge. My cousin Sergio and I decided to buy some candy instead. And when we got to the border, we remembered that we had not saved enough money to pay the toll to cross the bridge. Well, immediately I started to panic, and I started to ask my cousin, what are we going to do? How are we gonna get back? And without missing a beat, he took off his shirt and got into the line of the cars waiting to cross the border. And he started wiping windows. And he did a pretty good job. And as he finished wiping the windows, he would put out his hand and everybody gave him something. I am not condoning or encouraging kids to do something similar, but I learned a lesson that day. My cousin cleaned windows for about 10 minutes, maybe 15, it's hard to remember. But it was not a long time. But in that short time, he was able to collect enough money to pay the toll to cross the bridge and for us to buy some extra candy. I would never think about taking up my shirt because I was very shy. But to my cousin, there was no question about it. There was a problem and he was gonna solve it. So even today, when I encounter a problem that seems to have no solution, I always remember that story and remember that every problem has a solution. Sometimes you just have to think outside of the box.